Ladies and gentlemen, it's Peter White. Hello, everybody. Nice to be here in Winnipeg talking about the future. The fu it's hard to say that without sounding stupid. Like, it sounds like a 1950s newsreel. You know what I mean? Now come with me. Let me show you the future. Yeah, flying cars, space elevators, self-cleaning ovens, ladies. It's the future. Right? <laughs> I don't, know. It's like, I, don't, I don't think about the future very much. I try to not think about it because it's always depressing. It's never a good thing, you know what I mean? But I want to care. I want to be one of these guys who like cares about the future. I want to, like I watch the documentaries and stuff about how we're ruining the planet and I'm, I'm focused in and I, like I really, really want to care and I don't at all, not even a little. I don't, I don't want to. Like, like global warming, I want to be one of the guys who cares about global warming, but I, 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 it's hard to care about global warming when you're fat. That's the truth, you know what I mean? And I know, I know I'm not that fat, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not the fattest guy around, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not, like, gonna die tomorrow fat, just, like, awkward to look at naked fat. <laughs> you know what I mean? That in-between fat. Like, I'm not so fat that no one will have sex with me, I'm just fat enough that no one's bragging to their friends about it. <laughs> Weird way to be at. But I'm getting fatter. I'm getting fatter every day. I'm not losing weight, I'm just gaining every single day. Like, yesterday I accidentally ate a whole loaf of bread. <laughs> That's where I'm at, you know I mean? It wasn't like a man versus food thing. I just started eating bread and then I ran out of bread. I, I'm only gonna get fatter as time goes on. And so that makes it really hard to care about global warming because I hear these scientists say things like, if we don't change the way we're living in 50 years, the ice caps are gonna melt, the whole world's gonna be underwater. And I'm like, yeah, but you know, in 50 years, I'm gonna be the size of a whale anyway, so. <laughs> That sounds kind of comfortable, you know what I mean? Because I'm not much of a walker, but I am one hell of a floater, all right? Look at me, I'm a buoyant son of a bitch. Bring on the water, that sounds great. It's just a big harem of women floating on my fat body. Ah, oh, God, I'm gonna be the sexiest man alive. Great. In the world underwater, the boat-shaped man is king. Can't wait. By, by the way, that's how lazy I've gotten, by the way, is I no longer even fantasize about being skinny. I just fantasize about situations in which being fat is awesome. <laughs> giving up? Just giving up entirely. I'm like, what if I was ripped? And my mind's like, nah, nah. What if there's an ice age and you gotta be fat to stay warm? And I'm like, I'll take it. Uh, I do. But I want to care. I do. I want to be like proactive. I want to try to save the world. It's tough to care because I don't have any kids. That makes it really tough. And when you don't have kids, the, the earth is kind of like a rental car. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I just hand the keys in when I'm done and that's it. It's not my problem anymore. You know what I mean? It's just, so it's hard. So when things go wrong, like have you ever been in a rental car and then hit something? It's the funniest thing that's ever happened. You know what I mean? You, you hit a giant pothole, you're like, oh God, something broke. Something definitely broke. <laughs> Oh, man, that sucks for whoever's going to deal with that. <laughs> Thank God it's not me. <laughs> I, I don't know, because people try to tell you how to be better, and it, it always sounds like patronizing to me, you know what I mean? People are like, oh, whenever you leave a room, make sure you turn the lights out. And I'm like, that can't be the biggest problem. You can't, you can't tell me to turn the lights out and then still let NASCAR exist. Come on. <laughs> big group of rednecks teabagging Mother Nature for 500 miles. That's, that's got to be a bigger problem. Come on. You make Jethro drive a Prius, I will turn my lights off, all right? And it's not just the cars either, it's the fans too. These 3,000 idiots or 300,000 idiots, however many are there, who show up to watch people drive nowhere. Like, have you seen these people? Their farts alone are putting a hole in the ozone layer. Come on. I wish I could see the future. I'm sad that I'm not gonna get to see the future. You know what I mean? I wanna, I wanna be there. Cause it's gonna be some cool stuff. You know what I mean? Like if I had a time machine, I would definitely go see the future. I don't understand the people who wanna go to the past. That always seems weird to me. Like, ah, oh, if I had a time machine, I'd go back to the year 1500 and see what was going on then. It's like, we already know. Read a book, stupid. What are you doing? Why are you wasting a time travel trip? We already know what happens. Spoiler alert, it sucks. <laughs> No toilet, no fridge, no stove, just go camping. It's the same thing. Don't need to waste a time travel trip on the year 1500. It's stupid. The past sucks. Go to the future. I have a friend, we were talking about it, and he said if he had a time machine, what he would do 
is go back in time and have sex with a different woman from every century, which is a really bold idea, because he's never had sex with a woman from this century. <laughs> I'm kind of impressed. Sounds like, I mean, it, to be honest, it sounds like a stupid idea, because like anything before 1930, there was no toothpaste or deodorant. I, I don't really want to stink bang my way through history. That doesn't, doesn't sound like a good time. I'm gonna stick to the shower age. <laughs> And more importantly, I was asking him, I'm like, how do you think you're gonna go back in time and pick up women? Like, that's not a chance. He's like, no, man, it'll be easy. I'll just go back in time. I got my futuristic clothes on. I got my futuristic gadgets. I just tell them I'm from the future. They'll wanna have sex with me. I'm like, yeah, or burn you at the stake for being a witch. <laughs> I don't think sex is the right call. Like, you think a guy walks in here right now in a tinfoil suit with a holographic iPod, all the girls are gonna get tingly? I don't think so. Wow. And he was like, well, his argument was, well, if a woman walked in here right now in a tinfoil suit saying she was from the future, guys would wanna have sex with her. I was like, yeah, but that has nothing to do with the future. <laughs> you could have stopped at a girl walks in. <laughs> We're playing with different rules here, man. That's not how it works. <laughs> and don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get, don't go to the past for sex. The past isn't where you want to go for sex. You want to go to the future. The future's going to have lots of sex. Like, think how much sex there is now, how much there's going to be in the future. Because sex isn't going anywhere. You know what I mean? Because sex is fun. And you know it's fun because it's the only thing in the world that's fun enough that people do, even though sometimes it makes babies. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's nothing else that fun. You would never get on a roller coaster if occasionally at the end they handed you a kid. <laughs> All right, you guys have been a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Have a good night. <laughs>